My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you all are doing well. What I have behind me are two DOD outdoor tents, the one pole medium and the one pole large. If we go back to the summer of 2023 of this year, I began testing out the medium size of the one pole tent. With my testing, I discovered a design flaw and the tent was pulled from the market. Initially, DOD did not agree with my assessment, but once I encouraged them to do additional testing with the one pole tent medium size, they discovered that I was correct. There was a design flaw with the tent. At that point in time, the medium size was pulled from the market. And now everybody, the tent has returned and it has been improved. The problem with the medium medium sized tent dealt with an issue with the zipper at the door. The company forgot to seam seal the inner stitching. For the tent to leak, it had to be out in the rain for a period of time. Enough time for water to soak through all of the stitching at the zipper. From there, the water would go through the fly and drip into the inside of the tent. Now, my friends, the new version of the tent is hitting the market now. And now, on the inside of the fly, with the stitching for the zipper, it has been seamed taped. So, in theory, that should solve the leaking issue with the medium-sized tent. Now, as you can see here, I have the large size as well. According to DOD Outdoors, the large size did not feature the same issues that the medium-sized tent did. They claim that the large size tent featured seam tape along the stitching for the zipper. How they overlooked this for the medium size, I do not know. The most important point though, is that the company has rectified the problem, hopefully, and that is what we're going to test out in this episode. Rain is on the way everybody and it should begin at 2 a.m. With this rain event, up to one inch of rain is possible and thunderstorms are possible as well. With the testing that I do here at Lone Wolf Mountain with any tent, nature decides what it's going to do. And that's exactly what you're going to face when you go camping, when you head into the outdoors. When you go out, it may be a 10% chance of rain or maybe it's a 20% chance of thunderstorms. And then what happens? It rains, it storms. That is real life, my friends. And this is real testing with real products. Ultimately, nature will do what it's going to do. And together, we will find out whether or not these two tents leak. Before I shut the camera off everybody and we await the rain that's coming in, there is something that we need to talk about. First off, these tents were sent to me by DOD Outdoors and I was under the impression this was a brand new tent straight from the factory. But unfortunately, that is not the case. Now that I have this tent set up, I am positive this tent was used. Not only is it dirty, I can tell that the stakeout points on the fly have been used. But get this everyone, no tent stakes were included with this tent. And guess what? This tent requires a ton of tent stakes to set up. Luckily, I had a bunch inside of my truck just in case. I have to be straight up and honest, all of these points have irritated me. What I do here with the channel is that I test out products directly from the manufacturer. I normally do not test out products that have been hand selected for me. Now in this case, I already have it set up along with this one. It has taken me a long time to get both of these large tents set up. So we are gonna go ahead with the waterproof testing, but do keep this in mind, everybody. When it comes to the medium sized tent, the tent that had the original problem, this tent was likely hand selected for me. So I don't know if we can trust this result. With the large size Ishii one pole tent, I could tell that it was brand new straight from the factory. None of the components had been opened, none had been used. That is not the case with the medium size. It was obviously used, folks. I have to say that I am rather disappointed because I was under the impression that this was straight from the factory. This was a brand new tent ready to go straight from the factory that I could test out, not hand selected for me. Take a look at the size of this tent, everybody. This is massive. This is a massive tent. One thing that's really funny about it that I want to point out to you all Look up there at the top. This tent has vents. Those vents have got to be at least 10 feet off the ground. There's no way to access those vents. There's no way to close those vents unless you take the fly off. Taking the fly off is not easy. Getting the fly back on, it's not easy. So the fact that you can open and close those vents is laughable. You would have to know whether or not you need them open or close right as you begin your adventure. There really is no easy way to make adjustments to those vents. And that's funny. By the way, the reason that I mentioned that I thought that this tent was used because of this, this channel is agenda free. I'm here to share information. I'm here to test out products and that's it. I do not want any form of specialized treatment. I want the same experience that you would have. Please know that I have a preview concerning the medium sized tent. So if you have any questions about it, check it out. I also have on the channel, the test night episode where I discovered the design flaw with the medium size Ishii one pole tent. So if you have any questions about this product, check out those videos. As far as the weather conditions that are expected later on tonight, this is what's taking place. Around 2 a.m., rain and storms are coming in. The forecast says up to one inch of rain is possible. Again, thunderstorms are 
possible. Is it going to storm? I have no idea. We will find out together. All I know is this. I'm excited to see whether or not these tents leak. I will bring you all back when it begins raining around 2 a.m. Folks, I'll see you then. My friends, it is time for an update. It is now 3.13 in the morning. It began raining very lightly around midnight. At roughly 1.30 in the morning, it started raining again. By two, it was a good moderate rainfall that lasted for about an hour. As you all can see, it's lightly raining now, but the big wave of moisture is about to hit. It is about to start. Once this rain hits, it's not going to stop and it's gonna be heavy. At this point in time, I do not foresee thunderstorms hitting the area, but heavy rain is certainly right around the corner. In fact, it'll be here at any minute. When it comes to the DOD outdoor tents, I'm very interested to see whether or not these tents are leaking. Honestly, folks, I have no idea which way this is going to go. I'm going to assume that the medium size is not going to leak because again, I believe this tent was hand selected. The unfortunate thing is testing that I'm doing here basically means nothing. And again, that's because this tent has been used. The adjustable stakeout points had been pre-adjusted and they were also dirty. The inside of the tent was dirty. The paper around the center pole was missing and of course the tent stakes were missing. More than likely the company was saying, hey, we fixed this problem, here's an example. This is something that we will talk more about in the morning. For now, let's focus on the heavy rainfall that's right around the corner. By the way, I guess before we do that, we should talk about the large size Ishii one pole tent. This tent is so massive. The fact that it's so large, so tall, I do like that a lot, but it does pose some problems, namely with those vents. So you have to have the foresight, open them up, close them, put the fly on, because taking the fly off to make adjustments, that would be a nightmare. It could be done, I suppose, but I certainly would not want to do it. One thing I will say about this large tent is that it moves a lot of water. Because the tent is so big and has so much surface area, it collects so much rain. In moderate rain, the tent is loud, like really loud. You can hear it from a pretty good distance away. It's making this roaring sound. Anyways, folks, the heavy rain is around the corner. Let's see what happens. Let it rain, folks. I'll see you all in the morning.
My friends, good morning. It is now 8.39 and it is time to check on these two tents. Rain just wrapped up, but more is on the way, so we should hurry open these up before it begins to rain on us. Let me tell you all, it rained last night. About four o'clock in the morning, I went to bed and that's when it really kicked in. There were thunderstorms all around us. I don't believe we were directly hit. If we were, I slept through it, but it was absolutely coming down. It was raining hard. I would say last night we received roughly one inch of rain. And again, this is realistic testing, folks. The weather does what it wants to do. That's how it was last night into this morning, and that's how it's going to be when you're out camping. So did this medium-sized tent leak? Let's open it up and let's find out. After looking the tent over, I do not see any signs of leaking. In most cases, I would be celebrating this fact, but since this tent has been used, since it feels like it was hand selected, I am not. When it comes to our results, they are now skewed, and you have to take those results with a grain of salt. You know, I was thinking about this last night, and I honestly do not think that DOD Outdoors was trying to do something malicious. But with that being said, I don't blame anybody for having doubts. Now folks, let's go check on the large size tent. Let's see if it leaked. My friends, it looks like with the large size Ishii one pole tent, some leaking did take place. It was rather minor, but the tent did leak. If we come over here, everybody, you can see, hopefully you can see, the floor is wet. We have drops over here, and we have water drops over here. If you look right here, everybody, you can actually see where the water came from. It originates right there and runs down the fly and that's where it dripped onto the floor the leaking took place along this seam here and i wanted to check whether or not that vent was open and it is not as you all can see, it is now raining again. Luckily, it stopped long enough so that we could check out these two tents. So we had one tent that did not leak, that was hand selected and sent to me, and we have another large tent that was brand new that leaked. What I can say about the large size tent that leaked, the amount of leaking that took place was rather minor. I could tell that like this was leaking in like the heaviest of the rain. Basically what we have is this, we have water drops on the floor but no pooling. So that tells me that this was a very short duration leak. If I was to put money on it, let's say that we went out and purchased another large Ishii one pole tent, it would not leak. More than likely, that is just a one-off thing. Where the seam tape is at, along that seam, more than likely there's an imperfection there, and that is something that could happen with the manufacturing of any tent, so. Ultimately, the large size tent leaked, the medium sized tent didn't. Thank you all so much for joining me for this test night episode. Make sure to sound off in the comment section down below. What do you all think about the results that we had here? The brand new, well, not really, you know what I mean. The medium size Ishii, the large size Ishii, one pole tents. If you enjoyed this episode, hit the thumbs up. I do appreciate it. If you want to support a channel that's agenda free, a channel that's doing some good in the outdoor space, you could do so on Patreon and on YouTube. You could join the Wolf Pack. Everybody, I am done. I am tired. It's way too early. I've had way too little sleep. I cannot talk any longer. I am done. Take care, be well, strengthen on.